The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church for the daily meditation on this December the 1st. Again, the readings for today was Luke, the first chapter, verses 46 through 55, and the book of Revelation, chapters 1 and 2. The meditation for this day, December the 1st, will be from the Treasury of Daily Prayer, Church Fathers, based on Revelation, the first chapter. We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, we implore you to hear our prayers and to lighten the darkness of our hearts by your gracious visitation, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The meditation again is on Revelation, the first chapter, coming from Treasury of Daily Prayer, the Church Fathers. In the morning, although I cannot yet see the sun, its brilliant beams will occasionally reflect off a glass-clad building. Blinding me on the way to work, you don't need to see the sun to be illuminated by it. Christ, who is the light of the world, shares the brilliance of his illumination in the world because it is reflected from the lampstand of his light, the church. She receives him as the illumination and holds that light up before the world, giving light in the darkness. The church is the lampstand upon which Christ is seen by the whole world. The church receives Christ by the word, making her the precious lady of the Lord. She is the golden lampstand, made precious by reflecting the light of her Lord and bridegroom. Although the church is not the light, the Lord honors her by calling her a light for his own sake. In the church's work, of proclaiming the word, we see Christ. Again, in the church's work of proclaiming the word, we see Christ. As he himself will explain a little later, the seven lampstands are the seven churches to which he is commanded to write. He calls them lampstands in Revelation 1.12, since they carry in themselves the illumination of the glory of Christ. He did not call them lamps, but lampstands. For a lampstand itself does not possess the capacity to shine, but it bears that which is capable of illumination. Likewise, Christ mentally illuminates his churches just as the Holy Apostle exhorts those who have received the faith to shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life. Philippians 2, 15 and 16. For indeed, the lamp does not in itself possess light, but is receptive of the light that comes to it. So also here the evangelist saw the churches as lampstands and not as lights. For it is said concerning Christ, You shine forth marvelously from the everlasting mountains. Probably meaning that the angelic powers, and again the psalmist says to the Father, Send out your light and your truth. Psalm 43. Three. And again, the light of your face, O Lord. Psalm 43, 44, 3. And so those who partake of the divine light are described on the one hand as lights, and on the other hand, lampstands. He says that lampstands are golden, Revelation 1, 12, on account of the value and excellence of those made worthy to receive the divine light. The end of the meditation. We now confess our faith, speaking the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.